Awards season is upon us. The best in the business will be blessed with a naked gold dude, and as per usual, we are bound to see some familiar faces, some multi-nominees. So let's go over the 10 most Oscar-nominated actors of all time. Before we begin, however, you should hit the subscribe button, because, you know, that would be like a really cool thing to do. In at number 10 is none other than Denzel Washington with eight acting nominations. His first was in 1988, and he took home supporting wins for Glory and for Training Day. King Kong ain't got shit on me! Then he has a slew of other iconic roles and a Best Picture nomination for producing Fences. Next is Jack Lemmon, again with eight nominations. His first win and nomination was in 1956 for Mr. Roberts, with another win for Save the Tiger. His other noteworthy nominated roles include Some Like It Hot and The Apartment. At number eight, we have Marlon Brando, again with eight nominations and two wins. His first nomination was for A Streetcar Named Desire in 52. Hey, Stella! with wins for On the Waterfront and, of course, The Godfather spawning this iconic moment. But he re very regretfully cannot accept this very generous award. Number seven is Paul Newman. He's been nominated nine times since 1959. However, he has only won once despite his iconic status, and that was for The Color of Money. This is the second time he was nominated for playing Fast Eddie, originally having played the character in The Hustler. You shoot a great game of pool. So do you, Fast Eddie. He also won an honorary award, but like, come on, we're not counting that stuff in this conversation. Number six, Spencer Tracy, nine nominations. He won two years in a row, first for Captain's Courageous and then again for Boys Town, though his most iconic role is arguably Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which was his last nomination in 1968. It was given posthumously. You'll have no problem with me. In at number five is Laurence Olivier with 10 nominations. He has one win for Hamlet in 1949. He was also nominated for directing that film because aside from his impressive acting career, he was also notoriously a fabulous filmmaker. Number four is Betty Davis, 10 nominations with two wins. She won for the films Dangerous and Jezebel after a long battle to be taken seriously within the Academy. Other noteworthy roles of hers include All About Eve and Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. All right, kids, we're approaching the top three most Oscar-nominated people of all time. This is a big deal. In at number three, we have Jack Nicholson. He was first nominated in 1970 for Easy Rider. Nick, Nick, Nick. And since then, he's been nominated 12 times. He has taken home wins for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Terms of Endearment, and As Good As It Gets. You make me want to be a better man. He hasn't been nominated since About Schmidt in 2003, so we'll see what the future holds. At number two is Katherine Hepburn. She won for Morning Glory in 1934, which was also her first nomination. She would then spend years receiving nominations with no wins until Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, The Lion in Winter, and On Golden Pond. Those are her three most recent nominations and she won for every single one of them. What a legend. And now, the number one most Oscar-nominated actor of all time is... Meryl Streep. Are you surprised? I bet you're not. She has, ready for this, 21 nominations. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's nine more than Hepburn in the number two spot, meaning there is no competition here, folks. She won for Kramer vs. Kramer, Sophie's Choice, and The Iron Lady. Her first ever nomination was for The Deer Hunter in 1979. Chances are this number is going to change very soon because she is not showing any signs of slowing down. Well, there you have it, the most Oscar-nominated actors of all time. We shall see who takes home the awards this year and if that list will change. In the meantime, hit subscribe so we can show you more dope videos just like this one. Or at least pretty similar to this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.